What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Damian Cryer, and I am back with another video, man. I hope you guys have a wonderful, blessed, and amazing day today. If you have not subscribed to the Cryer family, you already know what to do. Turn that bell on so you can be subscribed to the channel and all that good stuff. I will also be dropping links to all of my other channels on YouTube in the description box down below. Also, if you guys are not following me on Facebook, appreciate it if you go follow me on Facebook. If not, that's fine too. Just smash the like button while you're over there enjoying that content or at best while you're over there looking at the content. So guys, as you guys know, the last week, man, you know, I've been really busy. I've been on 10. I've been doing a lot of running around. But at the same time, during the course of all this running around, I still been able to drop you guys videos, like I'm trying to, you know, trying to drop you guys videos every day. And I think I've been doing pretty good at it. So as you guys know, I finally got my um, home that I've always wanted. Um, again, this was already in the making um, real, real early last year on. Um, and I'm just like right now, it's a really proud moment for me. And I'm really, really just still trying to absorb it all because I can't believe that I'm actually finally in my own house. And, um, as I said before, um, I know some people say, oh, my God, you guys are always moving. Oh, this and that, that and this. But I can assure you guys, you will not get another home tour video from me unless I'm actually out in the future purchasing properties um, unless I decided to, you know, get off into buying houses and flipping them and stuff like that. But other than that, this is it for me. Um, despite what you guys may hear from other people, I did see some comments or I did uh, get some messages about uh, the, the validity of was this my house or is this just a rental house and this and that, guys. But I can assure you guys, don't listen to no one, guys. Listen to the person that's telling you this. Their job is to um, talk down on me and deny the things that I put out there. My job is to show you guys that what they're telling you guys is a bunch of lies. You guys have been getting lied to for a long time when it comes to Damien Cryer. I can assure you that this is not a rental. This is my house, guys. Um, this is all mine. Um, but before I get into this, man, as you guys know, today, as I promised, I was going to bring you guys the uh, Furnished Home Tour Sunday. Um, and today is actually the day that I'm going to be dropping the video. Um, you know, um, with tomorrow being the day that it is, which would be February 5th, it's going to be a really, really painful day for me, a stressful day, regardless how excited I am, no matter what's going on in my life right now. You know, I'm really saddened by the fact that, you know, my oldest son had passed away 2017. His birthday is coming up again tomorrow. And every year, I always like do a video to recognize my son, Deontay Antoine Cooper. And God knows I miss him so, so much, man. Even with all the excitement of me moving into my home, emptying up my other home, you know, it's, you know, like it's been right there. Like I know my son, my mom, and my little brother, my grandmother and all that was just looking down, just saying, yeah, he did it, man. He did it. So I will be bringing a video soon about, you know, how much my son meant to me. You guys know I do that type of, that type of particular video every single year around February 5th, man. Also, you guys do know I do have a Q&A coming up. Um, I was asked by a longtime supporter on Instagram who sent me a message that would I do my Q&A on live versus doing it in a regular video. So I'm still kind of up in the air if I want to do the Q&A live or in the video because as you guys do know, and I always tell you guys this, I'm not the type of person who like doing lives. I don't. The reason being, if you slip up and you make a mistake in a live, you can't take it back. It's out there forever. It's out there forever. That's the difference between doing a video and a live. On a video, if you catch a mistake while you're editing the video, you can chop it out. You can correct the mistake. But when you go on live, you know, you have a lot of people in those lives that be asking a lot of questions. 
And some of those questions can be really, really frustrating. It can really piss you off and have you ready to make a quick response. But the moment you make that response, it's going to be screenshotted. It's going to be memed up. It's going to be there forever. And there's certain things, man, I just don't want people to see anymore. There's certain things that I'm just not going to do anymore. As you guys seen earlier, well, I'm going to say, well, actually late last year coming into the new year, you know, I've been moving silently behind the scene. You know, um, you guys are just like, y'all like family to me, you know, but it's a lot that I just choose not to share anymore. Um, whether it comes to my children, certain things about my kids, man, like, you know, I see like the disrespect, you know, that's going around and that's why I never really addressed anything, you know, and it's real hurtful to see that. But moving forward, you know, I'm just going to try to still become the best dad that I can be, become the best father I can be, become the best friend that I can be, and, you know, be the best person I can be at the end of the day. You know, but it's definitely hurtful to lose a child and then have other people making fun of one of my children. And like I said, you know, at this point, there's nothing that I can do about it, um, but just, you know, accept it and take it and just continue to pray about it. But anyway, I don't want to make this a sad video, nor do I want to make this video about any negative stuff. I just want to just address that. But I am really excited today to bring you guys my furnished home tour, man. And I'm going to call this right here partially finished home tour. And the reason why I say partially finished home tour, because, um, you know, in the future, there's going to be a change within my home as far as furniture setups. And I mean, I'm even thinking about moving towards have, having someone to help me. Um, do the interior that a lot of people suggested in the comment section on previous videos to have someone to help me do like the home interior and that's something that I'm not going to do at this moment but it's something that I will do in the future as you guys know being that I am here now I'm not going anywhere next year you guys are not going to get a video saying I'm moving the year down the road two years you're not going to get another video saying I'm moving, surprised with the house, I'm surprising myself with the house, blah, 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 blah. I'm not doing that because I'm not going anywhere. Um, so what I did was I ended up bringing my furniture from my old um, apartment to my new house because I don't feel the need to rush out right now and do all that unless I'm in a rush to go somewhere or I'm, or I'm in a rush to impress someone. And right now, you know, I'm very happy, I'm very content with the furniture and stuff that I've already have, the bed that I have, the furniture stuff that I have, the things that I was blessed with. I'm not ready to go out and buy new furniture, a new car. And you know, I see, I did see some comments where some people did suggest, you know, it was maybe like one or two people said, well, hey, don't put that old furniture in your new house. Don't do that. That's gonna look ugly. Listen, this is new beginnings, most importantly, humble beginnings. I'm not gonna start off this new beginning by going out and trying to impress everybody. It's all about being happy, man, making sure that I have some type of security in my life, some type of foundation so my kids can always have a place that they can call home, you know, and that's really what it's about, man. You know, it's not really about trying to flex, man, but it's about trying to show my happiness for everybody and show how thankful that I am. You know, you guys can rock with me for a lot of years, man. Y'all know where I come from. And I know this is about a home tour, but you guys know how I am. I'm going to let y'all hear me out, man, because a lot of y'all like to hear when I give y'all my story. And this is why I do this, man. I don't mind. This is what I do for a living. You know, a lot of you guys know where I came from. Y'all know my background. Y'all know I've been in trouble my whole entire life from the age of 13 all the way up to the age of 27. You know, back and forth from prison, getting shot, selling drugs, being on alcohol and all that stuff. And y'all know what I've been through. And now the alcohol, the drugs and the street gangs, none of that is a part of my life anymore. I hardly even take a sip. You know, um, it's just not a part of my life. The uh, streets is not a part of my life. You know, do I have my, bo my uh, boring moments where I'm like, dang, this is the weekend. I want to go out and do this. Yeah, I do. But when I think about the time I caught a DUI coming home 
from dropping somebody off who was doing something stupid and they pulled me over. And I got pulled over and went to jail for doing a good deed. But at the same time, I was still under the influence. I broke the law. And it really made me feel bad because I was moving forward with my life. I took a nice step forward and got knocked 10 steps back from that DUI. And it's just like every time I think about me wanting to go out and enjoy myself on the weekends, I always think about the consequences of me doing that. Because I know when I go out, I may want to have a drink, but I also know when I get in that car, you know, I'm at risk of getting myself pulled over. Anyway, guys, we are going to get this home tour started, um, partially finished home tour. And again, like I said, in the near future, there will be, you know, pieces of the puzzle coming together as I decide to go out and make bigger purchases on other stuff for right now. It's not the time for that. You know, we are living in a hard time right now. Things are not getting easier, you know. Um, but anyway, we're going to start the home tour in the garage, guys. As you guys already seen in the first um, video, when I first um, did all my paperwork and got the house, I showed you guys the garage. There was nothing in there. So now I am actually at home now. I still got a few things at my other place that I have to still move around and stuff like that and get transferred over here and brought over here. But that place is still mine for a while. Um, it's still actually mine, so I don't, you know, but, so let's go in the garage, man, and let's get this started. Okay, guys, in the first video, when I first uh, did the empty home tour, you guys had seen the garage was empty. So I recently had my Mustang wrong over here, and I think you guys had already seen my truck in the garage. My truck is really big, and I really don't want to have it in the garage all the time. And as you guys notice, I like the back end when I park, and I'm gonna show you why I won't really be having a truck in the garage. Like, I don't wanna make no mistakes and accidentally see how close that is to my wall. So I say thank God for having a rear camera. Um, well, thank God for vehicles having rear cameras now. See how close that is, and I don't wanna make a mistake one day back into the garage and accidentally hit that wall. It's gonna cost me a lot of money just to get that fixed. So I finally got both vehicles in here and I really feel good because I can get a water hose now and wash my own cars right here at home without always having to go to the car wash. And I'm thinking about getting one of those little shop vac things too so I can like vacuum. Believe it or not, I go to the car wash a lot. So, so that's pretty much that right there. And over here, I left myself a little bit room so I'm able to walk through here. As you guys always hear me talking about like my own tool drawer. I want to get like a tool drawer dresser. I think I had a 12 or 16 tool drawer set at one point in my life, um, but I lost a lot of stuff along the way. So I have two boxes of tools right here that, you know, like I do my own breaks and stuff. I got like the regular jacks and everything, but still at the other house in the garage. So there's still more stuff I have to uh, get. Having your own tools actually come in handy. They really do. This is my fishing knife. I use that for fishing. And that's the other tool set right there. I had got that about two years ago for Christmas. And again, I have a long ways to go before I get my tools back on deck, man. And I still gotta get rid of this stuff. But right here, as you guys see, I brought my Christmas tree with me. And I wanted to bring my Christmas tree because I did not want to be going out every year buying a Christmas tree. I can use the same tree year after year. My fishing equipment I brought with me, obviously, I had to have that with me. As you guys know, my son Darian bought me these fishing poles for Father's Day a couple years ago. And this is me and his fishing chairs right here. And we still use them. I know a lot of people are like asking about Darian. Is he coming back to Texas? Of course he's coming back, guys. Of course he's coming back. He actually wants to come back and visit real, real soon. So. Um, but yeah, guys, so this is the garage. Again, um, I still got a long ways to go. This stuff right here, I have to get this out of here. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it, but who knows, I may just hang on to it. And who knows, maybe I can start a little pit in the backyard, like a little, uh, what, do you, what do you call those things? Where they roast marshmallows over? You guys know what I'm talking about. I may be able to do something like that with it. So again, I have a long way to go. Um, the stuff that you see in here now is not gonna be like this. Um, if I'm not gonna, like, this truck is really big to have in this garage. So if I don't have the truck parked in this garage and just keep it in the driveway, 
I may actually do something with this big space. I mean, I can put a couple of games out here, maybe a pool table or something. So we'll see guys. But yeah, so that's the garage. I had noticed something on my garage door opener too, guys. You can actually scan this code right here on your smartphone and be able to download this app. And it says close from anywhere. So I will be able to actually close this garage from anywhere. So that's actually pretty cool, man. So I'm gonna go ahead and let that down. Oh yeah, sweet. Sweet. All right. So let's go in here and, ooh, it got dark in here. Let's go check out the house, guys. Now, as you guys know, this is a four bedroom. And so far, this room, I haven't did anything with this room yet. I just pretty much had my stuff brought to the house and had the movers just to put the stuff like wherever. But I brought this gate with me and I don't know why, because I don't have any stairs. But, you know, like I had this so my little ones can't go down the stairs or go up the stairs. But I'm pretty sure I will still have a use for it. What if I decide to go ahead and get a new dog for the house, guys? Comment down below if you guys think I should get a new puppy. Now, if I do get a dog, it's not going to be a big dog. It's going to be one of those small little puppies. Uh, I don't really see a reason to get no gigantic dog. Um, I do have a dog park, uh, which is really really nice a dog park how dope is that it's a dog park within walking distance from me but anyway let's see over here i haven't did anything with this bedroom yet so this is still in its current state the bathroom i did fix the bathroom up just a little bit but you know just basic basically you know nothing 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 too uh fancy just i went ahead and just got these little floor area rugs for like when you get out the tub you ain't standing there on a cold floor which i need to get for my um master bathroom as well i got the little hand soap up here you can wash your hands little items right here got the little trash can right there um so it's pretty much i did a little bit so i do have guests at least they'll have a baby center they can use. And this is the third bedroom. Of course, you guys have seen this. Don't judge me. I threw a little uh, quick little air mattress right there. And today the television is gonna be coming. It's gonna be a small television for right there. And the reason why I went ahead and put this here is because you never know, man. You never know. When a time comes and I may have someone stay tonight, they'll have their own room right here with their own television and stuff like that. I got a, uh, I'm not getting like a big dresser right there. I'm gonna get like these uh, stackable storage containers and stuff like that. The reason being, I don't see a reason to get a dresser for this room because I have all the storage space in these closets. And so the little storage dressers is gonna be for like, you know, um, underwear, socks, t-shirts, but the closet to be used for like, you know, hanging up clothes and stuff. So. I still, I just put these bags in here. So this little thing was really cheap, like 59, 60 bucks. It has the little um, head resting right there. It's real sturdy. And it was something I can grab really, really quick. Again, fixing up these rooms is not gonna be that hard because honestly, if it's just me here, who's really gonna be hanging out in these rooms? So they just gonna be pretty much empty. Um, like I said, my kids come over, my grandkids, it's a starter. So, as you guys see, I'm gonna turn these lights off. I don't know if I showed you guys this last time, but I got my alarm system installed and stuff, and I have the thing like for the windows, if the windows open or anything, or raise up, it's gonna go crazy. So, let me go ahead and turn this light off. I'm go ahead and take you guys in the front room. So you guys can see what I did. Don't judge me, guys. You know, this is this is the way that it is for right now. It's not going to always be this way. But so as you guys see, bring me back a little bit. This glare from the 
Windows has really kind of hurt my video. But right here, as you guys see, I have my regular brown sofa set. And you, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be frankly honest with you guys. I believe this color actually set the room off because there's so much white in here. Matter of fact, there is no room that's a different color. They're all the same color, which is good because I can paint any room I want. Obviously, I won't do it. I will have it professionally done. So, you know, I was talking about my son earlier in the intro, guys. It's my baby right there, man. I miss him so, so freaking much. <sighs> you guys have no idea what goes to my mind on a day-to-day -day basis, man. I think about him so freaking much, man. I really do. Right here, I end up putting this, um, I don't know if I want to call it metal or bronze, brass, but I put this up on this wall right here because it looked like it was a good space for it. So I put that up right there. And the television, when I did the home, the uh, empty home tour, I told you guys I want to use this space on the wall to put a 75 or 85 inch television on that wall and a fireplace up under it. And that's exactly what I'm going to do, guys. Um, that is definitely gonna be part of the plans for the future. Um, I end up putting my plants on both sides of the television just for right now. You know, I got my mom right there. I got my daughter right there. I gotta still unpack my other pictures, my son Damon, Akeem, uh, uh, Dion, uh, Baby Fortune. I still gotta take all their pictures out and stuff. And like I said, I think that this is a really, really nice fit. Um, this is not how I'm gonna keep it, but for right now, to make it livable so I can start staying all night here. And I've actually stayed the night here two days in a row, guys. So comment down below, guys, if you like it. Um, it's not too cluttered, in my opinion. Now, you guys, there's a lot of people who watch my videos that's really good with fixing up homes. So you guys give me, an, um, you know, let me know your, your, your thoughts on this, you know. Um, I actually like it for right now. It feels really comfortable. And it feels, most importantly, it feels like home, man. It really does. And over here, I got a few items right here. Um, and these were Christmas gifts a couple years ago. So I still keep those everywhere I go. Oh, I didn't show you this over here. I remember I told you my Bible. My Bible is right here with me. I don't read it every day. And I need to start reading it, you know, some chapters out of it. But, but yeah. So anyway, I got uh, a few things up on this counter right here. You guys let me know in the comments if you think that's too cluttered. I don't think that it is, but I do have all that area space over there. So I might end up moving a couple items over there. But I said I wasn't going to clutter my counter. But this stuff right here, I need access to this. Like this, I need access to this every morning. This, I hardly use it. I probably used it three times. Um, more recently, I did like a TikTok video. Um, I never uploaded the TikTok video, obviously. My knife set, I need access to that at all times. And as you guys seen, when you guys seen the tour, there was no refrigerator. So my refrigerator is here now. And this is it. Nice big refrigerator. You know, um, you got the same color. The only thing it don't have is the black in it. Whereas like my dishwasher actually is the uh, black. It has the black and the silver in it. My stove has a lot of black and silver in it. My refrigerator just has the silver in it, which is pretty dope, you know? Um, so I have a few items on top of the refrigerator. I was always told to put like flowers on top of the refrigerator or plants, fake plants or whatever. And I have a few items in the freezer that I bought from my old house. I seen no need to go out and go grocery shopping all over again. So let's see you guys the ice maker. Ton of ice in there already, y'all. Got some meats up there, meats down here, more meats, more meats, more meats. You can never have enough. But I still have to go shopping again. Well, no, no, no. Eventually, I do have to go shopping again. But I still got other stuff at my other house. Again, I need to bring over here, but it's really no rush. Only thing is, I can't really sleep there anymore because 
There's no bed or anything. So I brought the other stuff from the old house right on over here. That was not even my food. And I got this bottle right here for the occasion, guys. I don't know. I think when I do my live for the Q&A, I'm gonna bust that open right there because we're gonna have a good time while we doing that Q&A. I know y'all got a lot of questions and I'm sure y'all see that right there. Y'all know I don't play about my corn on the cob. No, sir. Oh, uh, is that Red Bull? Guys, guys, I promise you I'm not drinking that. I'm not drinking that. I don't know what that's doing here. I don't know what that's doing here. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So yeah, guys, comment down below if you like the refrigerator. Um, I have not went out and got my breakfast uh, area table yet, but just know it's gonna be coming soon, guys. Um, again, normally when I move somewhere, I try to get everything through together real quick, but there's no need for me to do that. When I tell you guys I'm not going anywhere, I'm not going anywhere. Now I told you I donated my old table, um, dinette table. Um, and a couple of the chairs, but I needed a couple starter chairs for my island. These are not going to be the chairs that's going to be at this island permanently. This is just for the moment. But actually, they really don't look too bad with the furniture over there. But I'm not going to keep these in here. I'm going with more like a beige or cream color for the island chairs. And they may not even really be island chairs. They may be like bar stools. Um, that can match this color of the island. So I think that it's still for the moment, for a temporary fix, it looks pretty good. So comment down below. Now over here, guys, if you guys remember, I did not have a washing machine and dryer last time, but now, voila, my washing machine and dryer is here. Brand spanking new. Now I have a problem though. I have a freaking problem. I'm gonna tell you what that guy, I'm gonna tell you guys what that problem is. Both brand new, you guys can see the paperwork still on them, the tags are still on them. I press this button right here. Well, I comes on. Come over here and press this button on the dryer. Well, I does not come on. So I went ahead and checked the fuse box outside in the garage. I pressed the, I returned the breaker on and off that has power. It says uh, dryer, lines your room dryer. I turned it on and off several times and it still doesn't come on. So I called the place. Um, they said to take the back of it off. It's just one screw to make sure the wires are together. Everything is correctly connected. So. The builders have to come out because we believe this is a faulty socket right here. We believe that it is a faulty um, socket right here because the circuit breaker is doing something really weird. When I turn it on, like it snaps back. So this is not the manufacturer's fault with the appliances. This has something to do with that right there. So I've already notified the correct people I need to notify. They got to come out here and figure out what's going on here because I'm unable to do laundry. Now, I would hate that. I mean, don't get me wrong. I got options, but I would hate to do it. I would have to literally wash my clothes here, put them in a the bag and take them all the way to Houston to my other place and put them in a the dryer. I definitely do not want to do all that. That is too many moves right there, man. That's too many moves. So being that this is the last day of the weekend, I'm hoping, hoping tomorrow they get out here and fix my dryer because I really need it. Now, lucky for me, I don't have any dirty clothes because I washed everything before I left my old place. And right here, I know you guys said don't put the clothes in here, but you know, this is, I've always did this, you know, uh, old habits is, you know, let's just say old habits die hard. So I got my shirts here little stuff I wear around the house right here. I got me some Dollar Tree laundry detergent. I always get this these, these little bottles of Tide. I used to get like the bigger bottles from Dollar Tree, but the big bottles I feel like was mostly water. So you know they say big things come in small packages. So I feel like the Tide is not flooded with water. And I have some, um, what do you call these things? These are for the clothes for the dryer, so fabric softening so your clothes don't be static and sticky. 
I got a few items up here. This shelf has a long way to go. So we're still working on it, guys. But yeah, comment down below, guys, if you like the new wash machine and dryer, refrigerator appliances. Again, the other videos, the stuff was not here, but they delivered them. This right here, I'm not for sure what's going on with this, but we got to get this figured out, guys. So yeah, so one more gander in the front room before I take you guys to the other parts. So that's pretty dope, man, for right now. Um, right here, if you guys remember my pantry, and don't judge me, it's not even full yet. I haven't even been to the store yet. But my pantry was completely empty before. I recently got some canned goods and stuff put in this cabinet. Again, you guys hear me say Dollar Tree. Y'all know that is my favorite store. So I went and got me a few items. These right here are my favorite. I'm going to get another maybe two cases of those and pile those up somewhere in here. I got a couple things to make me a cake wood. Um, just, you know, a little miscellaneous stuff. Uh, I got me some dry beans right there that I'm gonna be making soon. I got a couple of bags of these mashed potatoes. That's really, really good. Um, fish fry, um, hamburger helper. This is all Dollar Tree items, stuffing mix. I got a couple of bags of M&Ms, you know, just something to have to snack around. I got my manwich right there. Of course, I did a video last week. I got my chili beans right there, refried beans, more manwich, more chili beans. Got multiple cans of tuna. I got my favorite, which is corn. Instead of corn on the cob, I made sure I got a lot of corn in the can. And again, I didn't stock everything up on my item, like my toaster and my um, can opener. I got a bag of potatoes. I love making fried potatoes and onions. I got a couple boxes of Uncrustables, the variety pack of Doritos and all that good stuff. Multiple packs of cookies, more bags of Doritos and nachos. I actually was smashing, smashing on these last night. Bro, I was up to like two in the morning just eating snacks and stuff. But yeah, guys, so this is the pantry. Um, so, oh, by the way, you guys might have seen that can of Raid up there. That can of Raid is because when the movers came to my house to move stuff, they had the doors open in the garage, open moving stuff in, and a lot of little gnats was coming in. And one video you guys did see a spider in my bathtub. And so little critters be trying to creep in and stuff. So I got that in case it gets out of control. I can just spray that raid, it's really strong. So right here, guys, as you guys see, I have my bedroom set in here. Um, I have my bedroom set in here. They did a really nice, uh, awesome job installing it. So they had to break this whole entire bed down and put the whole entire bed back together. Um, this is a newer comforter that I put on here about two weeks ago. And this has actually been washed already once. Um, so yeah, got my little charger right there <laughs> for my phone. So you know how it is when we land in the bed. You know how we are guys, when we in the bed, we got to, we're gonna be on our phones even while we watching television. So it looks really good. And then I have my taller dresser right here. And it's a lot of stuff piled up on this dresser because I haven't had a chance to, um, you know, get everything arranged. I got my little Pac-Man machine, my little mini cameras. And I got my, y'all know I wasn't gonna forget my change jar. Hey, I wanna show you guys something. So I got this the other day from the store. The guy gave me this at the gas station, man. Comment down below if you guys think these things are bad luck. And I did see a thing a while back on Instagram Reels where they said that if you have one of these that's in circulation, they got like certain dates or certain certain numbers on it, it may be a good thing. You, may, you know, like they may be worth a little bit more than this current value. I don't know how true it is, but I always thought these things were bad luck, man. But comment down below what you guys think. Are the $2 bills bad luck or is that just a myth? I don't know. But anyway, aside to this right here, it's all been, you know, put in correctly. I'm gonna be moving this stuff around. I'm not for sure I'm gonna put it, but I'm thinking the one guest room that I showed you, bedroom number three with the uh, blow up bed, I'm thinking about putting a small table in there and putting that Pac-Man in there and also putting the dart board in there. Those of you who know, I did not go with the pointed darts because of you know, small ones. I went with the magnet one. So I've been playing this dark game a lot. Not since I've been here moved, but you know, 
at the other spot. I went ahead and took my paintings and put them back in my bedroom, like at my old house. And I have the other one, the twin up there. Right here, guys, is my other dresser. And instead of me stacking the mirror on the dresser, I put the mirror right here on the floor, which I feel like is better in a way. So I can see like what I look like when I'm getting dressed up. And I have a few things on my dresser. Uh, these little box vases right here, I'm gonna change these. I said this a while back, I'm gonna change them. And a um, couple of little other things up here. So yeah, again guys, this room is a lot bigger. Let me step back. This room is a lot bigger than my other bedroom. I mean, I still got so much space to do so much stuff, man. So, so that's that right there. And now right here, this bathroom, I haven't did anything with it yet for taking a, a bath, but I put my little scale in here. I got a few items. The drawers is full of different stuff in the drawers already. I just kind of like, I got to organize a little bit better. Got to organize the medicine cabinet. Most of the medicines and cough medicines and stuff like that is down there. These things right here I get from Dollar Tree. I use for my toilet to keep my toilet bowls fresh and stuff like that. Keep them nice and clean. And they work really, really well. Most importantly, I like how they keep the water color blue. And right here, my closet is kind of all over the place, but I'm home. So I got stuff a little bit more organized than just threw in here. You guys see, I still got a laundry basket, a bag, they're full of games and stuff. Um, this, so everything is coming together, guys. I still got a long ways to go. This is far from over with. So that's pretty much it, man. I mean, I wanna just show you guys like the progress that I was making. I know uh, at one point, like, ooh. You know how people are like, you're gonna have some people that's for you, some people against you, but the ones that's against you, they always watching and reporting and they know everything that's going on, but swear they don't watch your videos, man. So I know there's gonna be somebody with something negative to say, but all that don't matter. I want you guys to do me a favor. Let me know in the comment section down below if you think that it's coming along okay. And if you guys see something that I could change, let me know what you think I should do differently. But I did tell you guys, I was gonna let you guys help me fix this house up step by step and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. But I wanna just bring you guys something to show you exactly how far I've come already since the move, guys. Again, the move happened very fast, but I have a long way to go. I still got a lot of stuff at my other place. I still need to get out of there. It's small stuff, but it's very important stuff. So I'm gonna give you guys one more little gander real quick. So, front room. Let you guys just see it real quick. Front room. Move this way a little bit. This is my new sitting area. And to be honest with you guys, I've been in my bedroom the last couple of days because your boy has been extremely sleepy from all the moving and stuff. But this is what it looks like so far. So you guys comment down below y'all enjoyed this video again y'all know i take constructive criticism extremely well so let me know what guys what do you guys think that i should change also when it comes to furniture and in their future what color kind of furniture do you guys think i should buy for this front room comment down below man but listen i love you guys i'm gonna go ahead and end this video off so i get out of here until next time i'm damien crier and i'm out peace